today i'm going to explain the working of jk flip flop jk flip flop consists of four nand gates wherein two are made up of three inputs and the other two is of two input this stage is consists of s bar r bar latch so jk flip flop can also be explained with the help of s bar r bar latch the truth table and the block diagram is shown here this block diagram is of clock pulse for pgt that means this flip flop works when clock signal makes a transition from 0 to 1 or low to high also the working can be explained with the help of nand gate logic that is nand gate produces a high output when any one or all the inputs are at low state the working of jk flip flop will be seen case by case the very first thing is when clock is zero as i told earlier in the clocked sr flip flop for any clocked flip flop if clock is zero the flip flop will be inactive or it enters into hold state same thing for jk flip flop when clock is zero we can notice that one of the input to both gate 3 and 4 is at low state hence each produces a high output at both the gates that means s bar and r bar is equal to 1 if we recall s bar r bar if they are 1 then it enters into hold state this can be explained with the help of assuming previous condition here i have assumed the previous condition was a set state so q is equal to 1 will fed back to the input of gate 2 similarly q bar is equal to 0 will be fed back to gate 1 as input now one of the input to gate 1 is at low state hence it maintains or remains the output at 1 this one and the r bar input produces a low output or maintains a low output at the second gate hence we can notice that there is no change in the output and hence it is also called as hold state or previous state case 2 when clock is applied j is equal to 0 k is equal to 0 we can notice here that there is a change in the input combination for gate 3 and 4 but for gate 1 and 2 the input combinations s bar and r bar remains same this is because one of the input to gate 3 and 4 is at low state hence it produces a high state and from the previous state it is clear that when s bar is equal to r bar is equal to 1 it enters into hold state so when clock is applied but if j and k both are zero then also flip flop enters into hold state case 3 when clock is 1 j is 0 k is 1 here i have shown two diagrams one is assuming the previous state as 1 that is set state the second one previous state as reset state we can notice that whether it is a set state previously or reset state previously the ultimate state for this condition is reset state this can be explained as when clock is 1 j is 0 k is 0 with the previous condition as a set state gate 3 has low inputs which produces a high output gate 4 has all the inputs at high state hence it produces a low state because gate 2 has one low input it produces a high output at gate 2 
This high output is fed back to gate 1. Gate 1 has now both high input which maintains the output at low state. Similarly, if we go to the next condition that is assuming the previous state as reset state. In this case, both gate 3 and 4 because Q is 0 fed back to gate 4, Q bar is Q bar is 1 fed back to gate 3 but J is 0 for gate 3. Now both these gates has low input which makes S bar R bar high. And also we have seen in the previous state S bar R bar is equal to 1 means it is a hold state. So the output holds the previous state. That means ultimately the flip flop enters into reset state. Hence clock is equal to 1 j is equal to 0, k is equal to 1 is known as reset state irrespective of the previous state. The fourth case when clock is equal to 1, j is equal to 1, k is equal to 0. Again in this case also I have shown two diagrams one is a previously reset state the other one is previously set state. We can notice it clear that when previous state is reset state, one of the input, both the inputs to gate 4 are at low state. Hence, it produces a high state at the output of gate 4. Whereas, gate 3 has all the three high inputs which produces a low output. Now, irrespective of any conditions, one of the input to gate 1 is at low state, hence it maintains at a high output. That means Q changes from 0 to 1. This one is fed back here, which keeps the Q bar at low state. When previous state is a set state, both gate 3 and 4 has one low input, which makes it S bar R bar is equal to 1. Again this is a hold state hence Q holds the set state and Q bar will be 0. Thus this state that is when clock is 1, J is 1, K is 1. This state is called as set state, set state irrespective of the previous state. The last condition, the last condition when all the three inputs are at high state. In this case, observe clearly, if it is a set state previously, it will enter into reset state. If it is a reset state previously, it will enter into set state. That is, when J is 1, clock is 1, K is 1, and if the previous state is reset state, this 0 will be fed back as an input to gate 4. This one is fed back as the input to gate 3. In this condition, 3 high inputs produces output of gate 3 as low output. That means S bar is equal to 0. One of the input to gate 4 is at low state. Hence, the output R bar is equal to 1. Now, because S bar is equal to 1, it produces a high output for gate 1. This is fed back here, which makes both the inputs of gate 2 as high state which produces a low output. So flip flop change its state from reset to set state. The other condition if suppose the previous state is set state. Now one of the input to gate 3 will be 0 because q bar is 0 it is fed back to gate 3. Its output becomes 1 that is s bar is equal to 1. Similarly, the inputs to gate 4 are at high state, hence the output will be 0, that is R bar is equal to 0. Because one of the input to gate 2 is at low state, it produces a high state at the output, that is Q bar changes its state from reset to set state. This is Q bar changes its state from 0 to 1. This state is fed back to gate 1. Now both the uh, inputs to gate 1 are at high state, hence it produces a low state. That means we can notice in both the cases, 
if it is a set state it will enter into reset state if it is a reset state it enters into set state hence this state is called as toggling state where output toggles from set to reset and reset to set the timing diagram of jk flip flop clock pulse this arrow mark shows that it is a pgt flip flop that means positive going transition at this instant of time what is the inputs for k and j depending on this the output of the flip flop will be produced now at this instant when clock is applied k is 0 j is 0 that means it is a hold state we have assumed q initially is 0 therefore it remains in hold state until the next clock pulse is applied at the second clock pulse k is 0 j is 1 that means it is a set state the third clock pulse k is 1 j is 0 it is a reset state so until the third clock pulse jk flip flop will be in a set state whereas the fourth clock pulse both are zero that means it is a hold state previously it was a reset state so it is holding that state until the next clock pulse in the next clock pulse both are high that means it enters into toggling state this is how we can avoid or overcome the drawback of sr flip flop that is invalid state but there is a drawback for jk flip flop also this drawback is called as raise around the condition when we go for level triggered jk flip flop the level trigger that means the positive or the on time of the clock pulse is so large that q can toggle multiple times as set to reset or reset to set but at the end of the clock pulse we are uncertain to predict whether q will be a set state or q will be a reset state this depends on how many times q toggles if it toggles odd times it changes its states if it toggles even times then we cannot notice that change even though there is a state change hence the uncertainty of the output of a jk flip flop at the end of the clock pulse when j is equal to k is equal to 1 is known as race around condition this is the main drawback of jk flip flop this can be overcome in two ways one using edge triggered flip flop the other one is master slave flip flop In the next video I am going to explain the working of master slave flip flop. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like and share to learn electronics in a simple way.